Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. McVeigh. Um, I wanted to discuss some things with you uh, regarding your agenda. So if you see here, uh, the morning message is basically telling you to complete all assignments that's in Google Classroom. Make sure you click submit when you're done with those assignments. All these assignments or documents should make a copy for you unless it is a presentation. You should not have to make a copy yourself and email me it. Uh, just make sure you click submit on Google Classroom. That way I can give you comments and I can return your grade to you uh, on Google Classroom and I'll be putting that in the Infinite Campus. So if you need anything, my email is listed here. Um, I'll be posting your assignments day by day. I'm not going to flood Google Classroom uh, with every assignment for this week. I don't want to confuse you and I don't want to confuse myself and I don't want to confuse any of your parents or guardians. So please make sure that you guys are um, checking Google Classroom for announcements and make sure that you are checking your email daily for emails from me and your other teachers. Make sure that you are responding to these emails because I know for a fact that some of your teachers are giving you a grade based on communication just like I am. If you look here in red, I am giving you a grade based on communication with me. I cannot help you if you do not ask the questions that you need answered. I cannot help you like I want to or like I need to. So please make sure you're asking questions. That goes for, uh, you know, if you're a parent or guardian, if you feel like you need to ask me a question, email me. If you need me to call you, email me. We'll set up a time. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Uh, I will be using a Google Voice number, so look out um, for maybe an unknown number or it may be a number that goes through uh, Athens area code. So if you look, I have broken down what you're supposed to do day by day. I've put your standard, or I haven't put your standard, but I did put your learning intention here because uh, I want you to know what you what 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 is your guiding pr principle for this day, uh, for each day. So that means that on Monday you should be able to tell me what the features are: parliamentary and presidential governments. Uh, Tuesday, again, you should be able to tell me what are the main features of parliamentary and presidential forms of government, um, and then. Wednesday, you should be able to tell me what, how do those three economic systems answer the questions of what, how, and for whom to produce. And how does specialization on Thursday, how does specialization enhance our show's ability to trade with other countries? And Friday, you have two learning intentions. How does literacy rate affect the standard of living? And how does literacy rate affect the standard of living of the aboriginals? So please make sure that you look at your learning intention. Uh, and then let's go back to Monday. So Monday, your assignment is to, or you have a few assignments, retake Australia map quizzes. Please do that. Where is that in Google Classroom? I'm going to use my second periods, but all of these should be relatively the same. So retake Australia map political uh, map quizzes. Um, open that up, make sure that uh, you uh, do that. It is very important that you do that. So what's next? Uh, item number four, unit eight, item number four, federal parliamentary reading. Where is that in Google Classroom? Let's go back. It is here, 3-30-2020, unit eight, item number four. Um, that, if you open that up, you will get a document that looks like this. Please make sure that you answer all these questions. Some of you are stopping at these first four questions. That's not the only four questions that are on here. You have another set of questions here and another set of questions here. A total of 11 questions. Um, so please make sure that you scroll down on this document to, to complete this because if you only do these first four questions, you're probably gonna get a grade uh, about a 33. So please make sure that you answer all of these questions. Uh, let's go back to our agenda. I'm trying to get through this quick. Your big 20. Where is that in Google Classroom? So you see that you're supposed to do five questions per day. 
maybe a little more, a little less, depending on what questions get answered. Um, so let's see where that's at in Google Classroom. It is here. It says 3.30 through 4.30 Big 20 due Friday. It is due on Friday. You will submit it on Friday. Um, so here is what that document looks like when you open it up in Google Classroom. Um, five questions per day, N not trying to overwhelm you, not trying to overpower you, not trying to uh, make you feel like you have all of this work to do for my class. I want you guys to take your time on it. I want you to feel like you understand it. That way, when I give you a test on Google Form, you have basically everything you need. I can't stop you from using your uh, items. So, you know, I, I'm giving you a really good chance to make a really good test grade. Um, so if you look here, you know, that there's no reason that we shouldn't know most of these already, but if you don't, don't fear. You can use all your items from this week to answer those questions or from last week, and you can use your openers. So make sure you're doing that. So now, let's go back to our agenda. Let's look here. Last thing that you're supposed to do, complete the opener for each day. Um, very simple. If you go back to Google Classroom and go to Unit 8 Openers, uh, I'm going to be posting that opener document into those Unit 8 Openers each week. So make sure that you're looking for that. Um, so if you click on that, uh, you'll get this presentation and you'll get this opener. All you have to do is type each day's opener into uh, this uh, document. So it says you may also choose to write your notes and send a picture of your notes in Google Classroom. Uh, so please come look back at these notes for Big 20s, for uh, test questions, for quizzes. Uh, please come back and look at these openers for that. Now, uh, hopefully that answers and covers most of the questions. For you parents and guardians that are keeping in constant contact with me, if you're seeing this or your child is showing you this, uh, you know, I appreciate you keeping constant contact with me. I'm sure you appreciate, I'm sure some of you are getting tired of seeing my emails, but I'm going to do what I feel like I need to do to make sure that you are in the know and that you are caught up. Uh, please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't hesitate to email me and don't uh, hesitate to email me to ask me to call you. Uh, now, um, if you need me to call you, it's probably going to be between uh, 1 and 3, uh, depending on the day. Um, if you need me to uh, email you, give me a couple hours. But depending on the day, if, I'm, if I have meetings or whatever, it may take me up to 24 hours. So be patient with me. Uh, I'm answering lots of emails from... Lots of students, lots of parents, lots of guardians, and also other teachers and the principals uh, at our school and our instructor and coaches. So please be patient with me, but I do appreciate you guys keeping contact with me, and I do appreciate you students who are doing this work. You're doing a great job. Um, hopefully we get back to school, but uh, if we don't, know that we're here for you, we're supporting you, and we're trying to make this work as best we can. So please, uh, if you liked this video, uh, now I sound like a YouTuber, but um, if you liked this video, maybe I'll do more of them explaining, uh, going through some presentations and explaining different things. Uh, please let me know if that's something that you would want. Or are you parents? Let me know if that's something that you would like. Um, I'm sure that this would help some of our auditory and visual learners. So, uh, you know, if this is something that you guys want me to do in the future for, you know, maybe not every day, but maybe one or two videos a week explaining different things for you to pause, come back to, listen to again, uh, I'll gladly do that. Uh, there's no reason that I can't do it. 
So please, and you see my Mac is about to uh, go dead. So that's where I'm ending this. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.